The opinions and interpretations expressed in this and other videos are that of Marty Huey and may not be representative of his colleagues and employer. The videos cover overlapping requirements of codes, standards, and regulations. Your situation will require full analysis beyond the concepts presented here. Smoke compartments. What is one? We're going to refer to SC as smoke compartments further out, at least in the writing. Smoke compartments are inherently part of I-2 hospitals, I-3 penitentiary, and B occupancy where we have ambulatory. Now that's a unique situation and 22,500 square feet may not apply. Smoke compartments allow us to defend in place. The last thing we want to do is open the doors and let prisoners run free if there's a fire. Last thing we really want is our loved ones to be in a hospital and a fire and they not be able to be on life support, i.e. medical gases and such. A smoke compartment must go from outside wall to outside wall. There may be smoke compartments toward the center of the hospital depending on how it's laid out, but if you trace a line back it will go all the way to the outside wall. A smoke compartment cannot be greater than 22,500 square feet in a hospital, and that's what we're referring to in this video. Penitentiary and ambulatory have some slightly different requirements, but essentially the concept is the same. We also have area of refuge. We must supply an area for everyone in one smoke compartment to be able to go to the other smoke compartment adjacent to it. And we've got to do the math. And it is in the code. It's like 30 square feet per patient that must be on each side of a smoke compartment. So th what this does is keeps one smoke compartment from being dramatically smaller or dramatically larger than the smoke compartments adjacent to it. You must have at least two smoke compartments on every single floor in a hospital because we want to be able to defend in place. We want to be able to move a patient from one area of the hospital to the next area of the hospital. And no smoke compartment can be greater than 22,500 square feet. So therefore, if you had a floor of 44,000 square feet, because of the wall locations, it is unlikely you'll only have two it is very likely you will have three smoke compartments. Travel distance to a smoke compartment wall slash door shall be under 200 feet travel distance. Not to an exit, but to a smoke compartment door as we see here. The exit is actually closer, but we have to get to a smoke compartment door within 200 feet travel distance. A smoke compartment wall is actually a one-hour fire smoke wall, which is a smoke barrier. The only difference between a one-hour fire rated wall in a hospital and a one-hour fire smoke wall slash fire barrier is the fact that HVAC wise it has fire smoke dampers in it. And this is a costly endeavor. Fire smoke dampers are dramatically more expensive and also require quite a bit additional testing than strictly fire dampers. The floor requires a fire rating of at least the same fire rating as the wall, i.e. one hour. Likely it will be greater because of floor separation on a multi-story building. Once again, these videos are unique to hospitals. Penitentiary and ambulatory have some slightly different requirements, but my focus is on hospitals. If you have a multi-story building, NFPA 2000, which is presently what CMS is using, and we are obligated to re follow that, as well as your state and other requirements, and the most strict applies. With a hospital, you have to have a minimum of two smoke compartments per floor. But NFPA 2000 requires a smoke compartment 
one floor below a hospital, even if it is business occupancy and has no patients on it. The floor directly above a hospital, it does not require any smoke compartments, nor two floors below. NFPA 2015 is where this requirement changes. Smoke compartments will only be required on the floors where they serve patients. Please post or email comments on what you've seen. Suggestions for future topics are also welcome. Marty enjoys learning from the experience of others. More videos will be added, which can be found at MartyHuey.com.